on Busted Open, Dave LaGreca, Bully Ray, PCW Ultra is going to be live Friday, June 8th in Wilmington, California. Opposites attack. And going up for that PCW Ultra Heavyweight Championship in the first ever steel cage match for PCW Ultra is the one and only Sammy Callahan. Very angry Sammy Callahan. Sammy, how are you today? Very angry as always with you. That's any differently. Been on the road for three weeks straight. Just got home, home for two days, and you guys are calling me to do some interview. It's not that early in the morning, you know. It's 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 morning, but it's not that early in the morning. We appreciate the time today, Sammy. I got home at seven this morning. I don't even have a voice right now. I just had two days of Impact Television taping, followed by a third uh, pay per view taping for Impact. So I'm pretty beat, but nothing I've ever felt before. Sammy, what's with all the heat with Jericho? Dude, so Jericho wants to bring me on his podcast, kind of like Bust Open. I was giving my story. I thought me and him was cool. I thought things were going great, and we had talked about maybe doing something on the cruise. Guess what? Never heard a thing. Never heard a thing from him, and a lot of people are saying it might be for the ring of honor, and I'm like, oh, well, if this wants to be something that needs to be a deal, it's going to be a deal. Because like I said last time, I give a fuck it's broke, and I really don't care who I think at this point. And the thing, too, with the Chris Jericho cruise, and we talk a lot about that cruise bully on the air, but it seems like Sammy not only has a beef with, with Chris Jericho, but with Ring of Honor as well. I mean, this is the great thing about Sammy is he could spread his hatred on many different areas, on many different levels. You have Ring of Honor, you have Chris Jericho, you have Impact Wrestling, what's going to happen on Thursday with what's going to happen in the wood with Eddie Edwards and PCW Ultra. It seems like there's a lot of people, Sammy, that are getting under your skin lately. Excuse me. Uh, as always, uh, I'm sorry I'm a little lost for words right now. I have absolutely almost zero voice, so it kind of hurts to talk. But I'm 100% sick of being disrespected. I thought I was going into the next echelon of things, and it's still the same old thing over and over and over. What is Ring of Honor, Chris Jericho? Are they just a bunch of straight-up pussies that are afraid to make some money? Will someone tell me that? Well, maybe it's just the fear of, of having a loose cannon on uh, aboard a ship where, you know, where anything could happen. I mean, you have to admit that you've been uh, a loose cannon lately. I'm always a loose cannon. But that's what I mean. I don't like care I, mean, I know you don't care, I but don't that's care but that's the, that's the, but that's the whole point, Sammy. I mean, at, at some point, I think you have to care because, like, I, I think. But like, I think also at some point, I think at some point for certain wrestlers and certain individuals, I think you risk them being a loose cannon. I think you risk what they might do for the money that you can make in your return. Sammy still there? I think we lost Sammy for he's you. Still he's, still, he's still there. No, you got so angry. I think we lost the connection for a second. I think Verizon probably has a problem with you, Sammy too, at this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you, but you say I'm the lack of... A little bit. So it's interesting because, you know, obviously here on Busted Open, Sammy, we talk a lot about you. Obviously, when it comes to Impact Wrestling, we definitely talk As a lot about... We talk a lot about As Sammy. you should. And we do. But you, but you feel across the board that you've been disrespected. Am I correct? Absolutely. Look, I work for Impact Wrestling. I work, work for Weeks Underground. And Impact Wrestling, sure, the incident happened, but it launched Impact Wrestling into a different stratosphere again. Everyone thought Impact Wrestling was on its last dying legs. And I came in there, and I saved the company. Because I'm the person that everyone talks about. Sure, there's supporting cast. I'm the star of that show and you can see that from, from the gig, you can see that from the intro, you can see that from everything else. Why am I not being treated as such? Why am I not being treated as that star? Why am I not right in the middle of the opening? Why am I not making more money? I'm making the company money. I'm giving them ratings and I'm still not getting any sort of respect and Don and Scott always want to yell at me for something every set of tapings. 
Do you, do you, how is your relationship? I mean, do you, do you even like do you even like Don Callis and Scott Demore? Yeah, I'm indifferent on them. They're the people that pay me, so that's about as far as our relationship goes. I mean, and before we came on the show, Dave was telling me that you have some heat with Ring of Honor. Like, where's the bad taste in your mouth with Ring of Honor? And is there somebody there that you want to get in the ring with? I'll get in the ring with their entire roster because Ring of Honor is a place when I went younger that ate me up and spit me out just like WWE. They made a hard pass on Sammy Callahan. So let me, so you're saying that That's you're saying that, that Ring I'll of Honor forget. you're saying Ring of Honor ate you up and spit you out. You're saying that WWE ate you up and spit you out. <laughs> Did you ever come to think that maybe Sammy Callahan ate himself up and spit himself out? Did you maybe think that maybe the entire wrestling world is a bunch of snowflakes that just can't handle Sammy Callahan? Uh, uh, in this day and age, yes, I would agree with you that you are definitely not politically correct enough for the wrestling business. I love that. But you're saying that all these companies spit you out. Now it sounds like you have a vendetta against all these companies. If I was you, I would just start jumping guardrails. Maybe I will. Maybe that's the next step. Move us to the next step. This all started years and years and years and years ago. I saw the dude's wrist with a switchblade in the middle of the ring. That caught me a bunch of heat, got me on books from places, fixed that, became one of the top wrestlers in the world again. I was going to go do stuff with Ring of Honor. Shit went down there, so I went somewhere else, made that company, made myself a star there, went on to WWE. WWE wanted to say, you know what? Fuck you, pretty much. So what did I do? I left, went to Lucha Underground, helped bring that to the echelon, went to Impact Wrestling, helped bring that to the echelon. So I do the same thing over and over and over and over my entire career. I offend someone, some sort of heat, people don't want to book me, or they look at me and see a five foot eight white kid that can't get in the ring and fight. But I don't care how big I am, I don't care how big an opponent is, I don't care how big. I go to bars all the time and big guys swing and pick on me and I headbutt him in the chin. That's where I'm at this moment. I'm going to start treating people like I treat people at bars and the wrestling business. I can see, though, where it can get a little frustrating because you mentioned Impact Wrestling, and you're right, Sammy. Let's let's be honest here. Before this feud with you and Eddie Edwards happened, not a lot of wrestling fans were talking about Impact Wrestling, and obviously there's an emotional tie between you and Eddie Edwards, and people are talking about Impact, but yet it seems like you're not getting the respect you deserve. But how does that feel to know that you're almost carrying that show on your back because you're the best thing going on that show, but yet you still don't get the respect that you deserve from the brass there? I wasn't even invited to the damn press conference for Slammiversary Day. I'm over the poster, but obviously I'm not even at the press conference when I should be because I'm the person that sells the damn tickets. It sounds like you're too much of a loose cannon for these people, Sammy. So it's either you're going to start playing well, by other... My bank account go up because it's not about a wrestling company now. I have a cult of fans. My fans are a cult. My fans believe what I'm doing. My fans believe, fuck this PG era. We want the attitude era. We want to let something a little bit nastier. We want violence. And I'm giving it to them. I'm the one person who says, fuck the PG era. Fuck all this pussy bullshit i'm gonna be what people want in wrestling even if they don't know they want it boy i hope izzy's not listening right now let me ask you this sammy because you're right i mean i think if you were to poll most fans they'd rather see you know something closer to the attitude era than what's happening right now in the pg era and i'm sure a lot of companies feel that way too and maybe impact wrestling's one of those companies that are saying hey we want to be an alternative to the wwe we want something different well, there you are. You're the guy that supplies something different. You're the poster child for, you know, the new attitude there. You're the poster child for the guy that's going to say, give the middle finger and say, I don't give an F about anything right now. So you're right. They're riding on you because you're delivering exactly what the pro wrestling fan wants right now. Exactly, and the proofs of the pudding. OVE shirts, they put them up on the Impact website. They, used to, they weren't selling merch at all on the Impact website. Now the OVE shirts are pretty much sold out. They have to put up another Sam Callahan shirt. Those are one of the best sellers on the website the first day they put them up. So obviously I'm doing something right, so why am I the bad guy? 
why am I the bad guy in this? If I am the one fixing things, sometimes you just got to pull that Band-Aid off, and I'm the one that's going to pull that Band-Aid off and say, you know what? You know what? I don't care anymore. I'm going to give you exactly what you need. That's a, a big bite of real reality. So, Sammy, we know that the wrestling industry is all about business, and you're talking about your paychecks going up. Who's the one guy right now out there that you know you can make money with? Don't tell me anybody. I want a name. Give me one or two names that Sammy Callahan versus this guy is a guaranteed sellout, is a guaranteed story, a guaranteed match that people are going to want to see, other than Eddie Edwards. Oh, hell, if I don't look at Ring of Honor himself, I think their champion, Dalton Castle's one right off the bat. I wrestled that dude all over the world, and people have zero clue. And he's a guy that wants to go around being happy, having little dudes, and he's a guy that's exactly that PG era wrapped up into a bow, so I think I can make some money with him. And I think I can make some money with you, Bubba Ray. When are we going to do this? We've already had some matches at the House of Hardcore, but it seems like every time we get some steam, you just disappear to your podcast. No, I have a radio show, yeah, Sammy, not national. a podcast. An, I, take I have a national now. radio yeah. show, Sammy, that I allowed podcast. you to be on today. And I understand you might want to stir some crap up. But at the end of the day, Sammy, you know how I am backstage and you know how I am in the ring. I would beat the piss out of you. I would punch you in your jaw and leave you laying in the ring. I would beat you up. I would blow you up. I would humble you and I will ex- and I will expose you. Don't bark up the Hall of Fame tree, okay? Go someplace else. Now you can talk. You may say, "Oh, you're gonna you're gonna blow me up. You're gonna punch me in the face." Okay, Bubba, let's get in the ring again and see who's hustling and puffing. Okay, no problem, okay. Sammy. No problem. Person. Listen, I get this. I, I I did this stuff long before you were doing it. I get this game better than you. I can outwork you. I can outpolitic you. I can outbeat you up. I can outdo you on all of this crap. Okay, so don't come on my show and disrespect me on my show. Okay, I asked you about other people. Now you want to fight me? I'll mafia kick you in your face and put hey, you, you into asked, retirement you before you turn 30. Money. Shut up, schmuck. You asked, me, you asked me who I'm going to make some money with. I'll make some money okay. with you. Go you make some Chris money Jared with Jared other people, not with me. Up, Nobody. Money with Chris not, not with me, Sammy. You're not good enough to make money with me. It's actually Talk to him, Dave. Really. It, 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 it's Talk a, to him, Dave. It's actually, bully, it's actually our show. Just, yeah, you know, I know it's, it's our show. You're, it's you're a guy that I actually respected. So, how about we have a little phone call about this, Bubba Ray? I think we need to talk about this because you're not going to bully me into thinking one thing because there's not anyone in this world that can bully me. I'm not afraid of anyone. Sammy, I'm not, I'm not trying to bully you. Know, you. Yeah, everyone's cool. I'm not afraid Sa- of you. Sammy, I'm not trying to bully you. I'm basically I'm telling you to take your respect and go f yourself. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's see how many listeners this this Dave cut this guy off. No, I'm not cutting him off. Cut this guy off. I mean I would cut him off. Cut this guy off. Shitload of listeners of this, and you're going to be thanking me at the end of the day. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay. I'll be thanking you. I'll be thanking you with what for the for the pay for the cut pay I got to take for working with you. Wow. For the for the up in your ratings, so you have the draw. Yeah, Thank yeah. Because I need Bye-bye. your help to get over, Sammy. Right. Yeah. I mean, maybe you guys need to have a conversation. Maybe have me on your show again. How That's did this turn into me? Uh, how did this turn into me? How did this turn into me? This was not the way this is supposed to go. But once again, you have some guy that wants to start his own stuff, create his own buzz, so he takes it out on me. Well, he does have a buzz. I mean, the reason we have oh, Sammy no, Callahan, he does, on, he does have a buzz. Absolutely, he's doing great things. Like I'm, I'm really looking forward to what's going to be taking place Thursday. You know, with Eddie Edwards on Impact Wrestling, and we actually asked, you know, Sammy to be on to talk about PCW Ultra. Like I said, Friday, June eighth, in Wilmington, California, opposites attack, where he's going for the PCW uh, World Heavyweight Championship in the first ever cage match. So Sammy Callahan's doing it on yeah, every single coast right now. Show Shows already pretty much sold out this weekend alone. This is what the draw do. I go from Ohio to Orlando. Wrestle television taping stream LW. Go from Orlando to, to uh, California. Wrestle Pentagon the Cage in the main event and sell that mother out. Then I go from California all the way to New York to wrestle for House of Glory. I'm going coast to coast, coast to coast, coast to coast. I'm doing this the old way that guys like Bubba Ray did, but they're the same guys that want to disrespect me. And I do it just like them, but I'm the one that's 
that's hurting the business, even though I'm the only one that's keeping this business what it used to be. That's and that and Sammy, that's why we wanted you on the air today. Just to make it clear. Listen, no disrespect at all. I mean, this isn't a podcast. This is national radio. This is morning drive. This is Sirius XM satellite radio. It's not a podcast. So, you know, anyone can do a podcast and invite you on. This is national radio, and I wanted you to be a part of the show today because of everything you're doing. Listen, this this was booked before you put out the video about the Jericho cruise that's taking place. I mean, this is why I wanted you on the air. And I love the fact that Bully you asked the question about who do you want to be in the ring with, and you know what? You mention a legend and a Hall of Famer like Bully Ray. Because I know myself and probably the people listening to this show right now, they would pay to buy a ticket to see that match take place. So I don't care how it happens. I just want to see now, after hearing the two of you go at it, I would love for that match to take place. Well, let's see exactly what happens. But the thing that I have to deal with right now is me defeating Pentagon one-on-one in the middle of a, a steel cage match. And here's the thing. We're building up some big angle of me and Pentagon, but I'm I'm really sick of this dude riding my coattails at this point. It, it doesn't matter where I go in the world. It seems like he follows me, and he gets put right above me in every single locker room we go. And I have to play second fiddle with Pentagon. So I'm going to end this in Impact Wrestling before it anything else happens is going to happen at PCW. And Impact Wrestling Camera is going to be there. And if you think I'm not going to do what I always do, if you think I'm not going to offend someone, if you think I'm not going to upset someone just because Impact Cameras are going to be there, that's another story. Because I am going to hurt Pentagon. I am going to make a statement. And the way it's looking right now, I think I might add his mask to my mask collection because I already took his boy Phoenix, his baby brother Phoenix's mask a couple months ago, and now it's time I add Pentagon's mask to my collection now. It's the one guy that isn't afraid of him. I, it, he may have everyone fooled that he's some undead Mexican zombie, but to me, he's just a dude in a mask that's like everybody else. I love it. I love it. Opposites. He's a really good pro wrestler that wears a mask. I ain't afraid of that. This ain't trick or treat. And you're a guy that's a loose cannon. That's why they call it Opposites Attack. It's taking place Friday, this Friday, June 8th, Wilmington, California. To get tickets, go to PCWUltra.com. And this is something that I want to see taking place. And honestly, Sammy, with everything that's going on, whether it's PCW Ultra, Impact Wrestling, MLW Fusion, you know, the Chris Jericho Cruise, it doesn't matter what's happening. If you're involved, it's must-watch. Absolutely, because that that's because I am the draw. Peace closed. All right, Sammy Callahan. Again, you can see him this Friday for PCW Ultra and, of course, on Thursday for uh, Impact Wrestling and on Saturday, House of Glory. He's going to be in the New York area for House of Glory. You know, Sammy Callahan, right now my co-host is silent because you got him pissed off. I understand disrespecting a Hall of Famer. Not exactly the smartest move, but... I'm interested in what you're doing, Sammy, and I can't wait to see you in the ring. Oh, we can add that to my, my list of things on my resume. I I left the one, the only boy race speechless. There you go. And and just so you know, Busted Open's not a fucking podcast. It's a national radio show. <laughs> well, that's something that I'll get yelled at online, too, for us. So, oh, well. Made it to my well, Sammy, thanks so much for the time, Steve.